This is a 17 acre farm. What I see is $300,000 in improvements. The owner said liquidate it, whatever the price, it has to go now. Um, and I apologize for not getting this information out to the people that have been contacting me on it. It is eight miles west of Cottonwood on Gas Point. You take a right on two feathers, you go up a mile, you take up the left at the away from the main ranch road, and you go another mile and a half, and you'll see my signs. You take a left and up. Uh, there, you have to call me for to see it. I'm now kind of in the middle of it, but east of the privacy fence. You want, and now I'm inside the privacy uh, fence, which is a little bit higher ridge in the road, where it completely levels off to slight rolling. Um, and absolutely private because of the trees and the elevation change from the main road now i'm on the west line but on the northern side of it looking from that line in now i've dropped to mid uh, way down the west line looking in on the property uh, easternward easternly um and this is a forever flowering 2400 square foot greenhouse it looks bigger but i was quoted 2400 and i've been told they run about a hundred thousand um, dollars plus the labor to install them plus all the additional improvements connected to it it does light deprivation climate control fans um, there's an underground uh, heating system but it's missing a component uh, tied to propane, then there's another electrical heater there. And again, there's just in this area, there's tens of thousands in uh, high quality soils. The electrical system was installed by an uh, electrical contractor, but you know, some this needs somebody that's going to work with the county and bringing everything up to identified legal uses and permits with permits paid. And the permits aren't going to be cheap. And they do permit work that's been engineered uh, but built without the correct permits there's ponds on here and there is a violation for pond construction without the right permits but that is not correct this area is open range um uh, yeah, i can see it on the survey maps i know from the history um and those ponds are on off this property and everywhere out there and on not on this property but all around it. you can see the open range you can see the tracks of the cattle they run certain spots out there still and they've been doing it for 70 years the ponds are in the oldest topo quads we saw the well a few minutes ago i think it's at four gallons a minute uh, it's tested it runs great year around uh, water this is a 50 kilowatt generator <clears throat> part of the electrical system that ties into solar panels and batteries but components of the batteries and the panels have been removed so it's it has inverters and all the <clears throat> connections needed to run power 24-7-365, but the batteries and the panels are gone, and luckily panels are cheap nowadays, so it's not the, in, not too bad. And that's where all the, trans, all the electrical components, converters, everything was, appears to have been with the uh, breaker boxes and, and so forth that uh, tie into underground conduit uh, to control um, everything. And there's, in the next picture, we're going to see where the yurts um, were at and their bathrooms. And they're all, again, underground power system um, off-grid. Now, these are two 140-foot by 40-foot greenhouses. Again, tens of thousands and soils added here uh, the plastic to run them is set off aside and i believe it's all intact uh, this is a tiny greenhouse i mean a tiny house and i have no idea what the new rules are it's not permitted it might only be legal it has a uh, storage um, it has a stove it has a grill um, and it's plumbed with the electrical system also in a little kitchen but does not have a bathroom we, and then that's one of the yurt platforms there on concrete piers. This is a uh, climatized um, container conversion with insulation. Um, and the communal bathroom is in between the two yurt platforms on concrete piers. And is a, it has a setup for a laundry, again, underground power system tied back to the main system. And uh, but not finished. It's a, obviously it's a... Um, it's a storage shed uh, conversion pre-made tiny home. This is a septic 
it's not permitted again, but it's a septic. It's a was installed by a septic engineer, a contractor, and that is a that is a spec large tank. I don't know about the leach field. The county's definitely going to require that the leach field is tested, pulled up the cover, covering, and looked at. This is a pond on the southwest south line, uh, probably the one the county thought that was uh, constructed with the current owners. It isn't. It's uh, I see it on the 1970s maps, and they're all up and down in the little swales across this area. Um, it's always been grazing uh, winter uh, good feed, and they've always had water systems out there. This is a th uh, would be the fourth greenhouse. It has a vent it has a, a fan set up wired to the main system, and <clears throat> it's bigger, forty by one hundred, a taller ceiling. Now there's a topo quad on it. Most of the improvements are on the n western side of the property. Um, they go further south than the structures that I GPS there. I used a benchmark on the seven half minute quad map. It's an old benchmark. Those are supposed to be pinned exact to GPS. Then I plugged in the distance and bearings off the survey. The survey does represent two parcels, but it's only one assessor's parcel. That's the older survey that I, where I use a distance and bearing to pin the corners of the property with the exact distance and bearing, normally accurate to a couple feet. And there's the legal description, two parcels.